Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Candy back again with a I'm gonna try to make this a smaller Dollar Tree video. <laughs> I find so much stuff. I need to stay out of there, but I won't. I won't. So I'm not gonna tell you any lies. Hello, if you're new to my channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, to my real ones, my subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate it. So I'm going to try to move, al move along quickly. I found some nice stuff and I also will have, um, at the end, I normally do my um, makeup that will still be towards the end. But I have some hair products that I've uh, tried from the Dollar Tree that I really like that have my hair, I mean, I use different products from time to time, but these uh, products that I found actually I liked and um, one of them may, one brand may be very familiar to you, if not all, but we'll discuss that soon. So one thing that I found, and I see why people sit on the floor when they do these uh, holes, okay? Because there's so much stuff <laughs> sometimes where you just can't spread it out enough. So I go to this one where... The store is always a mess, but you always find something good there. So I guess everyone's on to it as well. So once in a blue, I walk over there, but I like things organized and in place. And this store, literally, every time I go in, I'm like, oh, drives me crazy. But I went in there and I found this, which I haven't seen at any of my other Dollar Trees. Okay, so of course the one that looks like a tornado went through it. They always have nice stuff. So this is the uh, container with lid. And um, what caught my eye, it reminded me of like a crystal piece, a genuine crystal piece that my godmother would have um, when I was a kid. So I'm always attracted to stuff like that. Um, the crystal's kind of heavy, you know, and I didn't necessarily want that. So I think this is perfect as an in-between. You can have the look of crystal, but not the cost and uh, not the heaviness and also not the aggravation if it falls. It's plastic, okay? <laughs> so you don't have to worry about if you have kids knocking your stuff over, you can still have something that looks um, really pretty uh, without the cost. And I, these, I mean, this is a nice size. Do you see this? This is a nice size. So I will definitely be using this. Um, my initial thought was to put some candies in there. I don't really keep a lot of candy in my home, but I was like, I mean, don't listen. The girl likes sweets. Let's not get it twisted, but I like like mahogany eyes, ice cream, chocolate chip cookies, stuff like that. <laughs> so, not stuff that I would generally store in a container like this. But the girly side of me is like, you know what? Why don't you put some cotton rounds in this, even though I bought some glass ones? That's another thing. I have them in the bathroom and they do look really nice. I have some um, cotton rounds and I have some Q-tips and those and it works well i love it just you know take the lid off it's a twist lid um you'll see that if you look at one of my other uh, dollar tree hauls but i like this better because i like the fact that i can just pick this up and put it down without twisting it just pick it up and put it down so i don't know what i'm going to use these for but these will be used definitely i love them i love that it looks like a real crystal piece now when I saw those, I didn't go to the Dollar Tree for half of this stuff, <laughs> but I also saw these glasses. And of course, this reminded me of the crystal that my uh, godmother used to have. She used to have a, like a whole, um, I think they call them curios. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> it's been a minute um, since I even thought about that uh, furniture piece, but these are gorgeous. Now, even if you go to one of the major department stores, they'll have a set of these for sometimes I've seen them and they're, they're maybe they're real crystal, but so what? Um, this glass is just fine, but they would have these for like $18 for a set of four or even more. So I picked up four of these 
and I, I just love the look of it. It's, it's a nice glass. I like things to look nice, even the glasses, you know? Sipping your lemonade, your iced tea, whatever. <laughs> Do it in fashion, and I, I like these. So this is a good find. So check these out. Really, really like these. All right, moving along. Like I said, I'm breaking this up because I normally get a bunch of stuff and have you guys tied up. This is something that I saw at the checkout. These are authentic casino player, well, it says played cards. I haven't played cards in so long, but you know what? With the quarantine situation going on, I mean, we're still not fully out of quarantine. I'm thinking that, you know what? Maybe I should get a card game on with somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe I should. I don't play many card games, but I know how to play some spades. And my family, we're very competitive when it comes to that. So this one is Sunset Station Hotel and Casino. And this one is probably more popular to people, the Golden Nugget. So real genuine cards. In the back, it says Las Vegas style, which I miss Las Vegas. I've been out there three times and um, just a fun place for me. <laughs> it's just a fun place. I just want to open up a deck. Listen, when you play spades, you use the jokers or not? Look at my family. We use the jokers. Now, these cards I like. Okay, look how. Everything is nice and big and clear here. <laughs> so you can easily see when you're about to whip somebody's behind. Okay. No confusion when you slam down the cards. And do they have jokers in this? I haven't seen them. Hmm, that would be the only difference from what I'm used to is I would have jokers. So in this case, we will be playing with no jokers. Maybe that is how, I guess that is how the casino is. I didn't think about that. But um, we can make do. We usually play with the jokers, but uh, we can definitely get some games played with these. So this was a cool find. I like that. I was like, wow, I haven't even thought about a deck of cards in ever. So I picked up two of them, a dollar a piece. Next here. And I want to show you them all at once. They had a few magazines there. And um, I wonder, yes, they good. I wanted to make sure they had the retail price. So this one is smoothies and juices. It says a uh, boost energy and immunity on the top. Uh, 50 healing recipes. Okay. Uh, let me move back. So this is a full magazine here. The retail price for this magazine is normally $4.99. Okay. Got it for a dollar. They also had sell it, how to turn your stuff into big money. What's hot now and what it's worth making more from your yard sale. This retails at $4.99 and got this one for a dollar as well. Okay, here we go. The next one I found, even though I don't eat a lot of red meat, <laughs> this is a relish magazine um, all about ground beef. They have beef stuffed peppers here. Uh, they have California sliders, beef and cheese roll up. That sounds good. Taco stuffed uh, pasta shells, 19 mils in under 30 minutes. Now a girl likes a quick meal, a good quick meal. So I was for this. <laughs> it was like one of the nights that I do decide that I'm going to have some red meat. Um, I, I think this will come in handy in the home. So this is good too. Uh, this retails normally um, they have here for $4.99. Now, you know, they always have books there. And this one got a little banged up in the bag. This one is pasta pasta, savory and delectable recipes. And this is by Food We Love. And I don't see, let me just check. This is the book here. Your girl loves, I don't like pasta. I love pasta, okay? I have a love relationship with pasta. 
And I'll show you. Oh, goodness. So I'm look, let me show you the pictures. I'm looking like, ooh. This is called Spaghetti Puttanesca. Never heard of that. But it looks wonderful. And there's the full recipe. That's one. Let me find another good one real quick. Hmm, I like clams. This one is spaghetti with clams. I need to make that soon. I love clams. Okay, so they have some nice photos in here of some meals you can make. And this is a dollar, a book for a dollar with good recipes in it. All right, so I picked those up. So those are the three. Three magazines and one little book that I picked up. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I bought more stickers. Yes, I did. I did. I, <laughs> it, it, they call my name. I walk down the aisle. I turn around and I'm like, oh, my goodness. It's like staring right, right at me. So I had to get them. So this is so cute. I don't know what to use these for yet. But I mean, look how good they make these cupcakes and sundays look <laughs> i had to have this i'm like i don't know whether i stick this on a birthday bag or because i like to use stickers for my journals but i'm like this is kind of a big i don't know and my birthday was in the summer so we're past my birthday but i did pick up two of these these are darling look at the vibrant colors i love that the colors pop so much it looks so real, it's so cute, I love it. So I got two of those. I'm sure I may have picked these up before. I can't keep up. Girl is busy with work and life. <laughs> so I picked these up, I love the owls, they're too cute. And then this one, I don't think I have these. I have other love themed stickers, but this one says love, kiss me, love, believe, dream. And I just didn't remember if I had this one with the gold in it. Okay, you see that gold? So I picked that up. And if I have it already, oh well. I got it again. Now, I did pick up these uh, cheesy garlic biscuit mix. Uh, biscuits. It says makes four biscuits. So I usually buy the one, of course, that is made by Red Lobster. And I just found one in my grocery store. I swear it's made by Zatarans or something. I didn't even know they made this. I don't know where that came from. I've never seen it in my grocery store. But I'm going to try these. And uh, in a later video, we'll let you know if these were worth the dollar or not. Because I don't care if it's just a dollar. If it's not good, it's not good. So we're, we're, we're going to try these. Also, also. Now these, you can get like the big bag of combos. These are my favorite combos. These are the only combos I eat, the cheddar cheese combos. And it has to be the pretzel. They have the, what's the other one they have? The cracker one? I don't, I do not like those. It makes me so mad if I accidentally get one of those out of the vending machine. I do not like them. They have to be cracker and they have to be cheddar. So this is a three ounce um, bag. Of course, you can get like the bigger bag for $1.99, but I don't need to be eating that many combos. So this is a really nice snack size. So I'm for it. And one thing that you should always get, if you like gum, pick up your gum from the Dollar Tree. When I tell you the gum at the grocery store is getting out of control, <laughs> even though I still pick it up if I want it, but you know, they have the ones that are like in the cup for, that you can put in your cup holder of your car, three, four or $5 for gum. I'm like, listen now, <laughs> I like the convenience of it, but this big red and the juicy fruit and the other gums, four packs for a dollar, that still works for me. So this is something to definitely, if you love to, I don't love to chew gum, but I do occasionally um, want a piece of gum and four packs for a dollar still works for me, even though it says only 35 cents on each pack. Remember back in the, well, do I want to age myself anymore here? Um, but <laughs> We used to get these uh, for less than a quarter at some point. And I was shocked when it went up to a quarter. And then now, like this says 35 cents, but still a quarter in this um, pack if you get it from the Dollar Tree. Now, 
Now I did pick this up. This is the driver's choice car air freshener in Hawaiian. So I want to see how it smells. And I also um, want to see how long it lasts. So I will uh, try to have a review. They do have a scratch and sniff, which it smells delightful from just the scratch and sniff. But I want to uh, see, this is a uh, net weight 1.23 in Hawaiian. Yeah, I like these. You can stick it right in the cup holder. Um, so I'm going to try this out. All right. I also picked up a pack of extra. I like this gum too. Four for a dollar. Your girl picks up lip oil every time I see it and they have more. So I got it. I got three of them. This one is strawberry, which I'm not a big fan of strawberry, but I'm like, you know, just to moisturize my lips, that'll be okay. Uh, this one is grape. And this one is just clear. And right now what I'm wearing is actually sweet cherry scented lip gloss from the Dollar Tree. That's what I have on my lips now. And it's this little one. If you ever see it, pick it up. If you're into lip glosses like I am, pick this up. When I tell you <laughs> this feels so good on your lips, it's so moisturizing. Pick this one up, sweet cherry. Trust me. Thank me later. All right, that's that. Uh oh, I had another lip oil hide in here. This one is mint. I didn't know if I was gonna like the, that taste of mint on my lips like that, but I did get it, so I'm gonna try that one. Then they had some lip gloss by LA Colors. I'm sure I've picked this one up. Uh, yeah, I'm almost certain I've picked this one up before. But that's just what I do. <laughs> when I see the lip gloss and I'm like, you know, I, I do tend to keep them for quite some time because I have so many so I'm not running through one but when I see them and that the color calls me I'm like let me just pick it up so I picked this up by LA Colors this is uh Black Noir by Beauty Benefits Mascara Fluttery Length is what it says so I'm curious to see if this works and how it works so you'll get a review about this once I use it. And this is two milliliters. It says lengthening mascara. All right, beauty benefits. I bought some lip stuff from them. If you can, um, if you want, you can check that out in one of my previous, probably in my makeup haul. But this is that. That's the type of brush I need from my eyelashes. My eyelashes are pretty thick. So I always need a brush that can really brush them out easily. And that looks like that might be a good brush. But we'll have a review on that. And then I... I don't know. Tell me if you've seen these at your Dollar Tree. I don't remember seeing these. I remember seeing Revlon. But here's Maybelline New York. A color show. Nail polish duo pack. So... That's that burgundy color that I live for, <laughs> especially now that the fall is here. And then a gold shimmery color on the other side or bronze. Okay. A dollar for two Maybelline nail polishes, full bottles. Okay. So that is a good deal. And we're about to wrap it up. My mic is acting crazy. But, all right, so now, as I was telling you guys, I found some hair products. You know, I try, I buy most of my hair products from the beauty supply store. But, you know, I think I was running low one day and I was like, you know, I'm not going to Walmart. I'm not, the beauty supply store is closed. I'm going to see what Dollar Tree has. And much to my surprise, I found um, 
four products, three that I absolutely love and will probably continue using um, from time to time. But the first one here, um, this is a familiar brand. They had the V05 Dry Scalp Moisturizing Shampoo, five vitamin formula, soothe and relieve, plus almond oil and paraben free. I was like, what? I haven't even thought about VO5 in, in ever. <laughs> I know what it is. I, I've seen the brand for ages, but I, I, no one's looking. I mean, I wasn't looking for VO5, but I said, let me try it. So I picked it up and it does, my, my scalp gets dry, but I don't get like dandruff. It's not flaky, but I said, you know what? A dry scalp is a dry scalp, so let's get it. So they had this, and this is 11 full ounces. And then they also had the moisturizing conditioner. Um, says the same, soothe and relieve plus almond oil. Paraben free also. And this is the 11 full ounces as well. So remember that, those commercials, Alberto V05. Here they are. So this is a great find. So I use these two. Now they have salon selectives. They this was like a it seems like a bonus buy because this is a, a full bottle. This is twenty two point five four ounces. It says uh, yeah bonus sixty percent more uh, volume body shampoo enriched with lemongrass. Let me smell this again to see if I even like that smell. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. I just don't think it was as thick as I wanted it to be, like with a, a shampoo. But here it is. Okay, Salon Selectives. And this is a brand that, at least where I live, they normally have. They normally don't have this big bottle, though, for a dollar. So this shampoo is not bad. I want to smell the V. The V05 smells good. It's the almond oil that's making it smell good. Yeah, those are nice. But I'm going to tell you what is my favorite that I've found, okay, over the last couple of weeks. This is the Salon Selectives Conditioner. This says Marula Magic. It also says Color Protect, um, enriched with vitamin E, purifies for glossy hair. I'm, whatever this uh, Marula magic is, it works. You guys see this? Wait, let me see. Whatever's in here, it works. This was 22.54 ounces, enriched uh, with vitamin E. When I tell you, <laughs> my hair is not that coarse, but I'm telling you, this adds a moisturizer to your hair that is just I mean it lasts for days I'm not kidding you I mean I don't abuse my hair I don't like have color in it or anything um, even if you do of course you want to moisturize I would say definitely give this a try salon selectives marula magic conditioner with vitamin E I love this conditioner of course, um, oh, this is paraben free also. That's the big thing now, getting uh, shampoos and conditioners that are paraben free. This is, and it was a dollar. Try it, try it, try it. Let me know what you think. Try it, try it, try it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I look forward to washing my hair with this again. Even if I use different shampoos, I will still, I usually use, um, different conditioners too. I don't stick to like one brand for life. I'm not one of those. Um, so I'd like to try different products. This is well worth the dollar. This is my favorite pick of this haul is this product right here. Try it. Let me know what you think. Let me know how it left your hair feeling. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love you guys for stopping by and watching this video to the end. Make sure you like, share, comment, and most definitely subscribe. I have a a lot of watched hours. I need some more subscribers, okay? Um, I'll have another clothing haul coming soon, but I hope you enjoyed this uh, Dollar Tree video, late night video that I'm recording. 
<laughs> and uh, have a good one. Until next time. Thank you, guys.